sitting in tall, supremely still. Close your eyes and bring the attention inward. Nothing to do, nothing to seek. Everything you need is already within. Let's begin with the sound of Om three times to attract divine attention. Imagine you are everywhere. your mind on God alone. Oh. Rest your mind in God alone. God will live hereafter. Of this there is no doubt. May all beings everywhere be happy and free from suffering and enjoy this practice through our senses. Let's come to standing. Start off with charge breathing. Bring the earth's energy into the body field charged by that force. Take the feet about 10 inches apart arms up with the palms facing in. As I count to eight, imagine you're drawing the earth's energy right up through the body to the fingertips, holding at the fingertips for a count of six, where the attention is there as well. Exhale all the way back down to the feet. Imagine, feel, feel as though you were being charged. The charge is flashing all the way down to the body. Inhale, bring the energy up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Holding at the fingertips, all the attention in the breath. Four, five, six. Exhale down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale all the way up. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Holding at the fingertips now. Three, four, five, six. All the way down. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last time. Go all the way up. Holding at the fingertips, all your tension fixed there. Exhale down, feel flush with the char earth's charge. Bring the arms down now. And now we're going to start some exercises. Breathe vigorously and forcefully. Imagine you're just trying to throw the belly button against the spine for some for um, when you hear me breathing. We try to do the same so as to oxygenate the blood, aerate the lungs, and energize the body. Let's just start with head rolls, though. Move gracefully as you can. The aim is to try to find or maintain silence throughout in the mind. Just imagine the body moving by itself. You are just a witness watching. Switch directions. Try right, to keep the shoulders down, allow for a free passage of the breath. Now swing your arms up, inhale, exhale down, continue. Body inhale, retract. Now swing the arms back and forth. Across the chest, cross the arms, throw the arms back. Alternate the cross each time. Now pull the 
arms up over the head and the inhale. Exhale, just throw the body down. One, just stay hanging down. Allow the body to stop shaking. Roll your way up. Inhale, arms straight up. Exhale, down into squat. You don't have to go down all the way. Be mindful and condition of the knees. Just go down as far as you feel comfortable. Out to the side, twist from side to side. Exhale as you twist. Back to the center. Next one, four parts of this movement. Inhale, swing the arms up. Exhale down into squat. Inhale, press right back up, arms up. Exhale, swing down. Try to put some effort into the practice. This is an offering, remember. Try to cultivate enthusiasm. Exhale, inhale, circle around. Exhale, pull it and punch right back out. Drop the arms down by the sides of the body. This is almost the same, except it's a circle in the quarter. And in front, exhale, pull in, and then drop the arms down in the exhale. Let's begin. Now release, side bend. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale to the right, right arm up, inhale, bend to the left, continue. the back. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, imagine you're stretching the belly skin. Push the heart forward away from the seat. Exhale, push the heart right up between the shoulder blades. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and come into child's pose, breathe in, exhale, remove all effort, all tension. Next one, four movements again, actually no, um, yeah, inhale, come up into high cat, Exhale, drop the hips to the hands, push the chest forward, the shoulders go back, a little bit of a cobra. Inhale, back into high cat. Exhale, back into child's pose, pull the seat back behind the heels. Come forward again, inhale. 
and then hips between the hands, chest forward, head back, come back, high cat, and all the way back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and back, exhale. Feel like you're a wave on motion, stay in graceful movements, forward, up, and back. Elongate, let's go back, inhale, come up, forward, up. Imagine your spinal column as a string, never any kinks. Forward, the curve away stays smooth, up, and back, up, forward, up, and back. Forward, up, and back, up, forward, up, and back, up, forward, work the trunk muscles, build heat, up, and back, two more, up, forward, And back. Left time up. Forward. Up. And back. And then rest. Breathe in. Breathe out. Next one. We're going to glide forward on an inhale. You can pull the elbows out to the side to facilitate the move. Drag the body up in between the arms. Hold the pose in cobra. Exhale all the way back. Another entry. Inhale, come forward into high plank, into baby plank. Drop the between your hands and complete the compose. Exhale back. So move according to your condition. I'll do this one. Inhale, glide forward. Head back towards the seat. All the way back. Exhale. Inhale. Imagine yourself in the body of a snake. And back. Imagine having a boundless sense of range of motion. Come forward. Inhale. Come up powerfully but gracefully. And back. Keep watching the body moving like you're the witness. Inhale. And back. Inhale. And back. Inhale. Make the practice successful for yourself. Move in a way that is comfortable for you, that allows the breath to remain steady and even. Inhale. Hold the pose and the breath. Back. One more. Inhale. Glide through and hold. And back. Breathe in, breathe out, all fatigue. Come forward onto the belly, and then just take hold of your ankles. Inhale, lift the chest, push the elbow, the ankles back in the hands, lift the thighs as much as you can, and here's the shake. And release. Breathe in and out. Flip over onto the back now. Raise your arms over the head. Inhale, stretch the arms and the legs. Exhale, come into tuck. Chin to the knees, thighs to the chest. Inhale, stretch out. Exhale, pull in. And up. And in. Inhale, exhale, inhale, stretch as much as you can, exhale, make yourself as tight as possible and compact, reach out and come back, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, 
inhale the same way. Stretch out this time. Hold the breath. Hold the tuck. Squeeze the thighs firmly into the body. And release. Exhale. Inhale. Stretch it out. And again. Come into the tuck. Retain the breath. Exhale. Inhale, extend. Come into your tuck. Hold the breath. Press the lower back down. Release. Exhale. Inhale. And tuck. Release. Inhale, stretch. And tuck. Hold the breath. Release, inhale, and tuck. Release, inhale, stretch, and tuck. Release, inhale, and tuck. Break the pose, inhale. And back in. Release. Last one. Extend. And tuck. Release. Breathe in. Exhale. Allow all the fatigue to drop out of the body. Bring your arms beside your body. Legs together. Swing the legs up. Push the seat up off the mat to give them the momentum to come roll right up into standing position. Now come to the top of the mat, stand in mountain for a moment, Tadasana. Feel strong and steady and come into the consciousness of a tall, great landmass. It's steady and firm, unchanging. Now bring the hearts to the hearts, uh, the hands to the heart center. Remembering to offer up the practice to someone you love or to the great uh, divine spark that resides within, the light that shines in every being. Do this practice as a divine duty to all beings everywhere. Let's move together as one or imagine you're moving together as one with all yogis to deliver benefits everywhere. Raise the arms over the head. Come down into a forward fold, bend the knees if you need to bring your hands flat on the ground. Right foot back into lunge, lower the knee and the seat. Come into high plank, knees, chest, and chin down. I will uh, come in by bringing the fingertips out a little bit and then glide through. Pull the backwards of the hands, drag the body fit between your arms. Cobra, roll over the toes, back into downward facing dog. Sink the heart a little bit. Right foot steps to the hands, sink down to the seat again. Feet together, chest to the thighs, head down. Come all the way up. Hands back to the heart. Don't worry about the breath, just move in a way that feels intuitive. That allows the breath to stay steady and regular, even. Left foot back and back into plank. And then the breath will deliver fluidity to the movements. Glide forward between the arms. All the way back. Adamukas Nasana. Left foot forward. Uttanasana. Chest to the thighs, head down. Come all the way up. Return home. Reach up. If you see the body moving with powerful gracefulness, with power and gracefulness in your mind, this will likely transpire in your movement. So right foot back into a lunge. Into your plank. Lower down. Glide through. Retreat. Left foot steps forward. Sorry, right foot steps forward. And the feet together. Uttanasana. Bow to the legs. Rise, standing salute. Agramasana. Again, left side. Go down. Left foot moves back into a lunge. Into the plank. Lower. Glide and retreat. Allow the heart to fall towards the ground. Left foot steps. Right foot joins. 
come up. And back. Reach up. Go down. Right foot. Keep on moving like you're doing a dance. Flow through the movements. Every pose, every transition is like an experience. Just be calm. Keep them. The, the, the witness is never affected. It's unchanging no matter what happens. Never rattled. Never judging. The left foot back. Continue. Ride. Retreat. Left foot forward. Every movement done with deliberateness, mindfulness, reverence, hands back to the heart. Rise up again, arch back if you feel comfortable, fold down as though in humbleness, like you're bowing. Right foot back. If you're playing, try to reflect humbleness and surrender in all your movements. Glide. Retreat. Right foot steps, left foot joins. Come up and back home. Last time, go down. Left foot leads, continue. Don't worry if you get lost, just keep looking. Teacher, just try to pick up all the tricks just by watching the movement and listening to the verbal cues. Come all the way up. Hands back to the heart. Take pause here for a moment. Breathe in. Breathe out. At the same time, let go of all expectations and all attachments to the results. Then the practice becomes the best of the best offering that you can offer. Release the hands. So, raise the arms up over the head again, fold down, bend the knees, stay in Uttanasana for a bit, you can take your hands pressing into your calves, and then see if you can push the, uh, the backs and legs back into your hands, use the body to push the legs back. If you want, you can take hold of your opposite elbows, pull them down towards the ground, the forearms, tilt the seat up a little bit. Try to imagine you're trying to get your chest beyond the knees. If you can, straighten the legs all the way. You can bring the forehead to press against the legs near the ankles. Or near the front of the feet, I guess I should say. And then bring the hands down, step back into plank, lower down onto the belly. Roll the shoulders back, flatten out the toes, bring the feet together, and then start to push up into cobra. Take your time, come up, just think of the movements of the snake as any coils. And then the head comes up, looking out at the world. Bring the head back, imagine trying to get the top of the head to touch the seat. Push the belly button, button forward and up, away from the ground. Don't sink into the lower back. Pull yourself up out of the hips. Roll of the toes. Push back into downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Just take a moment here to bounce through the chest, trying to get your chest closer to the ground. Sink the hair area between the, sh um, the shoulder blades down towards the ground. Allow the head to be heavy. Flatten up the arms, bring them closer to the ground as the belly comes towards the sides. Now I'm going to step the left foot forward to the hands, back knee down, flatten up the toes. Kapiyasana, raise the arms up. If you can, you join your hands together, interlace the fingers, index fingers form, form a point. Rock the shoulders up and down, back and forth. And see if you can get the arms to stay beside the head without bending the arms. Picture the shape of a crescent moon, try to make your body look like that shape. 
Index fingers, the tips fall on the same lines, the rest of your arms and the body. So you really do find that nice continuous curve. And coming back up, press into the front knee. Come into a more vertical position, arms out to the side, Sukha Vita Badrasana. Hands low to the ground. Sukha Trikonasana, left hand down, right arm up. Keep the shoulder with the knee. You want to take a bind, right hand comes behind the back, and then you can either slip your hand in between the thigh and the, um, and the body, try to get the right shoulder to come back, or drop your shoulder a little bit more so the whole arm can come underneath the leg, and then eventually you can bind your hands behind the back, just against uh, beside the seat. If you can, take your right, um, your, your right wrist and your left hand, and straighten out the right arm. Roll the right shoulder back. Break the pose. Come back up into Easy Warrior Two. Turn to the front, bend the toes under on the back foot. Push the base of the toes into the mat. Coming into twist now. Bring the elbows to the outside of the left knee. Hands together. Sometimes it it's um it. If you just press your fist into your right, your left fist and right hand, you might be able to push down a little bit more easily, and then the body comes up at the same time. And then start to turn the chest towards the sky. Left shoulder moves all the way back. Keep moving the left hip back and the head forward on the inhale. Take all the folds out of the right and left side of the body, especially the left. Try get your hands centered in front of the chest. And release. Come all the way back into Easy Warrior Two, And take your hands down to the ground. Spin forward, bend the toes under again, the knees up off the ground, scooch back and forth. Drop the hips down as much as you can with each pass. Feel as though there are big weights in your hip pockets dragging you down. And then lower the knee, flatten up the toes. If you can, if your shoulders are, are below the line of the knee or about the same height, right forearm comes down, maybe the left forearm as well. Again, move according to your condition. If you need to stay higher, that's fine too. Keep on pulling the chest forward. Now fix the gaze just like a lizard never blinks and just rest in the pose. Get your chest closer to the ground if you can or right on the ground. Keep the left knee close to the shoulder. Now pressing into the hands, bend the toes back, and scooch, bounce the right knee in, left foot moves all the way back behind the knee. Modified Vasistasana. You may stay here. Lift the body up under the side of the body up away from the ground. If you can, put, keep pushing into the right hand to stay strong. Slip the right foot underneath. Here you want to take variations. Go ahead. Some people like to slide the left toes back, turn the head, send the chest up to the sky. For a wild thing. If you know all the variations of bad practitioners, go ahead. And then return, keep pushing through the right hand, keep the hips high as you move back into downward facing dog. Breathe in, pull the seats back, breathe out again, sink through the heart. Melt in every sense of the word, emotionally, physically, mentally. Soften. Then the right foot steps to the hands, back knee down. Karapiyasana again. Try to visualize the body, the mind, the shape. Do your best to come into the same form as what you're representing. See yourself as that form. And then come back up, press into the front knee. Sukha Vita Bhadrasana, arms up to the side. Be strong and muddy like the warrior. And then down. Right hand down, left arm up. Easy triangle, pull the left shoulder back. If you want to go ahead, take the bind. 
you don't have to take the bind. If it's easier for you to find steadiness in the first, the fundamental version, then stay. Make sure you don't bring the body into a place of pain and the mind in a place of distress. This is not what you want to offer to anybody. Come out to the pose, turn forward, bend the toes under the back foot, push the base of the toes into the mat. Left arm up, going into the twist again. So notice how as I push against the elbow, uh, the elbow against the thigh, uh, <clears throat> my body comes up, belly's higher than the thigh. Again, you can press the right fist in the left hand. Inhale, raise the body up, center of the chest comes behind the thumbs. Exhale, roll the right shoulder back. Try to get the whole chest to be level with the ground and facing up. Pull the right hip back, head moves forward on the inhale. Take all the wrinkles out of the right side of the body. And break the pose gracefully. Easy warrior two. Circle down to the ground, hips and shoulders facing forward. Rocking back and forth. Getting the hips to come lower and lower. And then resting in the pose. Flatten up the toes, the knee on the ground, the hips nice and grounded, and keep on trying to move the chest forward. If it's easier to stay on your hands, again, move according to your condition. Keep the right knee close to the shoulder. Move the foot out a little bit if you need to keep the line from the knee to the foot vertical. into the divine qualities of every form, every being, love all beings through this practice. And then press into the hands, come up. If you're on the forms, bounce the left knee forward, right foot moves back. Either modify Vasti Stasana, staying here, or alternatively push into your left hand, and then the left foot slips under full Vasisthasana. Notice the hands in front of the shoulder so that you can remain strong through the arm. Make sure you're not collapsing through the shoulder. And if you like, take other variations, wild thing perhaps, or whatever you else you do, expressions you do in this pose. Make it an offering. Return, keep pressing to your left hand, smear it into the mat. Back into downward facing dog. Breathe in. Exhale. And from here, we're going to jump our feet to the hands. Or if you don't feel comfortable jumping, just walk. Utkatasana. Imagine you're sitting in a chair. Kali Mudra if you can. Interlace the fingers, bring the index fingers together. Or again, keep your hands apart. And lift your chest up. Gaze up head behind the arms. Now stay fierce in the pose. Generate some heat. Feel strong and steady and powerfully determined to stay there without changing the mindset. Come all the way up. Hands brought to the heart. Breathe in. Breathe out. Release the arms, bend the knees again, bring your chest on side, arms back. Balance pose, hummingbird. Slide the right toes back, keep pushing the left foot into the mat. Keep your gaze down, your head close to the ground and see if you can lift the right knee up. Imagine you're falling forward. Make the body as small as possible. Concentrate on stillness the delicate small form of the coming bird. Good. And from here, come back down to the foot, open up the feet again, a little bit, inhale, extend forward, exhale, swing back down, and just allow all the tension to drop out of the body again, all the effort. 
Try again on the other foot. Slide the right foot in a little bit. Actually, um, and just rest your chest on the thighs to start arms behind. And then shift your weight into your right foot so you can slide your left foot back. And if you can, keep gazing at the ground. Lift the left knee up to the sky. Keep the heel close to the seat, but point the toes. Be unconcerned and unjudging. Just do your best. And release. Bring the feet back, the left foot down, feet apart. Breathe in, extend a little bit. Exhale, swing down and drop all the tension out of the body. Shake your head. Now from here, we're moving the feet back together. Walk your hands forward, lower down onto the knees. Sit on your heels and then sit upright, thunderbolt. Chest up. Inhale from the heart all the way to the third eye. Exhale back down to the heart. Again, inhale from the heart to the crown, um, third eye. Exhale back down to the heart. Inhale one more time. Visualize the breath moving from the heart to the Third eye, hold the breath here. Tighten, contract the muscles of the perineum, pull them up towards the navel. Keep the chest high as you, and inflate it as you bring the chin on the chest. Keep the attention at the third eye. Exhale, release. Good. Take the arms out to the side. Right arm on top of the left, intertwine the forearms so you can press the palms together. Push the elbows forward away from the chest until you feel the shoulder blades separating. And then bring elbows up, sink the shoulders, move the fingertips behind the head. Each time you inhale, pull your body further by the hips. Exhale, drop the shoulders without allowing the body to fall with it. Keep the lower back lifted. Squeeze the forearms against one another. Drop the shoulders, keep the neck long, back of the neck especially. And then bring it back down. Just shake around a little bit, move the head around. And then other, other way. Arms out to the side, left arm over top this time. Elbows out in front of the chest, behind the shoulders. Inhale, raise them up as high as you can. Exhale, drop the shoulders. Bring the fingers further back behind the head. Keep pressing the palms against one another. Each time you inhale, lift the chest. Lift the lower back up out of the hips. Exhale, sink the shoulders without while maintaining that length. Don't fall back into the hips. And then release. Come back. Shake it out. Good. So, move to the back of the mat. Inversions. If you're very, if you know how to do headstand, go ahead now. If you want other options, you can do any of these. I personally like to bring the, uh, the forms down to the ground about shoulder width so if you can take hold them easy, that's probably the right distance and then interlace the fingers, bring the forehead down in front of the hands and lift the seat up. Keep pressing into the forms, walk your feet towards the elbows. Bring one leg up, keep the heel close to the seat and then just push off the heel. So lift the heel up, keep pushing to the toes and use the thigh to push into the body at the same time. Eventually, at some point, you might feel steady enough to, uh, to push into the body and into the forearms to lift the right foot up, the other foot up off the ground and just float there. Eventually, you might be able to bring both up. Your seat has come back a little bit. You're bouncing between the hairline and the top of the head, never on the back of the head. Keep gazing forward, move in a way that's steady, that's slow, especially in controlled. Okay. 
it's not comfortable, keep your have your feet up or just keep it on one foot on the ground if you like. Don't go again to a place where you feel uncomfortable and unsafe. It's not where you're going to find quietness in the mind. With control, come back down. Come down gracefully, quietly. Relax in child's pose. Breathe in. Breathe out. And roll your way up. Find your way onto your back. Take a moment when you're on your back. Breathe in. Exhale, flush all the fatigue out of the body. All the effort. Shoulders stance. Arms beside the body, legs together. Bring the legs up. And then keep pushing to your arms to bring the back up off the mat. And if you need to do this a few times, you can lower the seat. Try not to make it drop down heavily. Control it so that it lands, the seat lands softly. After a few repeat, repeat repetitions, then bring your hips up again, bring your hands to the back, and try to get your elbows to come as close together behind the back. Push into the back, try to find a straight line from the toes to the chin. No lotus, you can go into lotus. Otherwise, keep the legs straight. Or, when you're struggling a little bit, you can tuck your legs into the body to make it a little bit more easily to, easy to sustain. Now, take your attention to the space between the eyebrows, the seat of divine perception. Keep your attention there. to eventually aim to get the steadiness in every pose. You can meditate in every pose, in whatever form, in whatever experience off the mat. You remain calm and undisturbed. Halasana. Slowly moving your legs down towards the ground behind the head. You don't have your feet as far away as possible from the head. If your feet happen to touch down, you can bring your hands on the ground behind the back. Interlace your fingers if you like. If your feet don't touch down, keep holding your hands on the back. Keep your attention on the space between the eyebrows. Concentrate. Good. Start to make your way out of the pose gracefully. Keep your hands behind your back, push into your arms so that the descent can be nice and controlled. Roll down bit by bit. Legs as well come down at an even speed. Try not to accelerate as your legs are coming down. Breathe in, breathe out. Now just lift one side of the body so you can slip your hand underneath the seat. Do the same on the other side. Try to move your arms right underneath the body. Arms stay straight, fingers moving towards the seat, palms down. Now push into lower arms. Push the chest up off the ground, or the, the back up off the ground, the chest is high, and then try to get the top of the head to come back down onto the ground, as close to seat as possible. Fish pose, now start to breathe very rapidly through the nose. down, move hands from out underneath, breathe in, breathe out, arms up over the head, sit up, good, from here, Hashimotanasana, you can keep your knees bent if you need to, 
Bring the chest down to the thighs. Take all the opposite elbows behind the knees, underneath the knees. Inhale, push the chest forward. Exhale, pour more weight into the legs. Gradually, maybe the heels start to slide forward. If you can get your legs flat on the ground without detaching the body from the legs, go ahead. And then take your hands. If you have your legs on the ground, wherever you like, you can interlace your fingers. You can take hold of one wrist and push the heels towards, uh, forwards. All the attention at the base of the spine. Bring your attention to those areas in the body that feel tight, where you want to release, that's where the prana will go. Your attention is like a magnet. Attract all the release to those areas. And then coming back. Turn your hands, fingers facing back. Slide your heels in a little bit. And then inhale, throw the hips up. Try to get the toes to ground by rolling the thighs in. The chest is higher than the shoulders. The chest is wide, roll the shoulders outwards. And then bring the head back if you can. Fast streak of breath, pat like a puppy, get the nose. If it's too much, bring your heels underneath your knees. Stretch like this. Chin in, breathe in, breathe out. And then just turn, going into a twist now, right hand right behind the back. Try not to lean back right with your hand. Um, you'll lean back if your hand's too far away. Bring it right against the seat, but, um, center the back. Left arm up, press the forearm against the outer right thigh. Inhale, push the lower back in. Exhale, turn your chest to the right. Try to get your shoulders flush with the long edge of the mat. Knees together. Keep the lower back lifted. Come on to the fingertips if you need to. Push into the fingertips and rise up out of the hips. Push the knees towards the left, beyond the left edge of the body. back, go to the other side. Left hand behind the back, right arm up, and then press the forearm against the outer left thigh. Inhale, push the lower back in. Again, rise up tall out of the hips and turn to the left. Push the knees way beyond the right edge of the body. Whatever you've done with reverence, with Mindfulness. And release. Come on to the back now. Shavasana. Ease your way down. And just when you're down on the back, breathe in. Exhale, drop all the fatigue out of the body. Relax completely. This is when the best of the best takes place, or imagine the best of the best is taking place right here and now. You're integrating all the benefits, all the love, the best of the best the universe has to offer into the body. Send everything straight to the spiritual heart at the center of the chest on the right, in the right side of the physical heart. Is where the divine grace, the divine spark resides. That which is found in every being. And so as you offer up everything to that divine spark, everybody benefits because we're all connected. We all have that portion of God within divinity.
start to come back. Start to bring the attention back to the body. Fingers, toes, the breath, arms and legs. In the most gentle and quiet and mindful way possible, prepare to sit up. Do so in a way that allows you to preserve all the serenity that we created. Move silently and gracefully and quietly and, and uh, gently. We close with Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Instill the peace within, send it out to all beings everywhere. to the divine grace within. Namaste. Thank you so very much for joining me today.